Welcome, welcome, boys. In this video, we're going to be replacing the radiator in this 2001 Plymouth Neon. I've already done a video on this channel on replacing the radiator in the 05 Neon. Now, the reason we have to retread this, and you can't just watch that video for this, is there's a couple differences. If you watch my 05 video, there are some comments down below saying you don't need to remove all those parts. You did it wrong, blah, blah, blah. Well, now that I have them both here side by side, we can compare why this one will be slightly easier and why it's different and why the 05, you need to remove the intake manifold. So on this 01, to remove, the, or, yeah, remove and replace the radiator, we are going to have to disconnect the hoses, disconnect uh, anything holding the radiator in so it's there, and then our fasteners that are in there that are holding the AC condenser to the radiator and all that good jazz with those brackets. So here you'll notice where this AC line runs. Runs along here, over this some way, over the top of the radiator, or over the top of the cooling fans rather, and then down that some way into uh, wherever it goes from there. Loops back around. But for here, I'm just going to have to remove that kind of lift it out of the way and then I should be able to pull that cooling fan, the single cooling fan, and then the radiator. The radiator is clearly leaking from here as this is the original one from the factory and uh, here with this little print, the stamp is on the plastic. It is fatigued over time and we have coolant leaking out of that part of the radiator. And now this is the 05 Neon, KDE's silver one. You'll see the AC lines running immediately part of the way in between these cooling fans and down. Why is that a problem? Because there's no way I can push this AC line in enough to remove the cooling fans and then the radiator and then get the new radiator in without damaging it by rubbing all the fins up along this cooling fan. That's why you need to remove the intake manifold on the 05 or anything like this that has these dual cooling fans, but more importantly, this AC line going down right between the fans and the intake manifold. So that's why we're shooting another video on replacing the radiator on the 01 Neon, because it is different than the 05, and this thing being in the way, not giving you enough clearance, necessitates removal of the intake manifold. Not that it's that hard, but it is a thing you need to know to do. You have to, When you do the 05, this has to come off the air box. So you can get that out of the way so that you can pull the dual cooling fans out and the intake manifold first before you can get the cooling fans out and all that. Okay, so now that we've seen the difference between the 05 and the 01, let's jump into replacing the radiator in the 01 Neon. Okay, boys, and after you open up the radiator cap so air can come in to replace the coolant underneath the passenger side if you slither on underneath and peek up here in all this greasy grimy dirt you'll see the petcock that guy right there so we just need to loosen it and the water is going to come out this little, this little hole right there. See it on the right? And so we're going to loosen that. We'll fill this container up. And then we can start pulling hoses in the radiator out of here. All right, pet cock is loosened considerably so I can get the maximum amount of coolant out as quickly as possible. So car's taking its squeege <clears throat> so I'll start pulling hoses off and loosening uh, anything in my way that's getting keeping this radiator in place
Okay, boys. And after a bit of a struggle, we're going to go over what we did here. So, had somebody not done a big hack job here and, like, taped the electrical connector onto the fan after using these, those twisty deals that people use on their house, there and down there, for whatever reason, I could have more easily gotten that uh, cooling fan section out. But we had to uh, unplug a few things and pull the air box off so I could get it out of the way in order to get it out of there, because I couldn't get my fingers on that. Especially with the tape on it and everything. But whatever. So somebody hack job this up in the past. But in any case, so we got the that unplugged, those taken off so we can pull the electrical fan out. Now I can access the lower radiator hose, unscrew it from there, and then uh, undo the hose clamps that are going from the uh, transmission cooler lines. So we'll get that off, and then we just need to get in here and get those off that are holding that bracket of the AC condenser onto the radiator. Because you look on the, those, lo those lower ones down there, that bracket is screwed onto the radiator and then those other two right here holding the AC condenser on the same bracket as the radiator so we're most of the way there little thing a few things we need to pull off and then uh, we'll have the radiator out okay and with lower radiator hoses and the two cooling lines and then those Two screws on the bottom I mentioned taken off. I should be able to just lift the radiator out now. Out. It was as easy as that. Just a few things you got to make sure you don't get too hung up on on the way out. The computer here, it's got these uh, little fins on it that act as cooling. So you just got to, as you're lifting the bottom parts of the radiator out. Where this lip is you just got to make sure it doesn't get too caught on that and then the uh, ac line down there i just had to wiggle it a little this way get past it and i'm able to wiggle it back that way right from those fins and then lift it up out of here just gotta make sure you don't get caught on these brackets for the ac condenser but that's it. it comes out as easy as that and so installation is the opposite of removal so the new radiator, as we can see, does not come with little rubber bushing deals. So you will have to transplant that rubber bushing. And I remember seeing that one, I think, that fell off. Or no, it's right here. Okay. That other one that fell off down there must be on the bottom. But in any case, that's it. You slither the new one down without getting hung up on any of the fins or that hose, without gouging the fins. Reconnect your hoses, put the cooling fan in, reconnect your electrical connector, and then uh, move your air box back down, tighten up all the hoses, run your uh, breather hoses to the intake, and then bing, bang, boom, you're done. So this one, a lot easier than the one on the uh, 05, where I had to take the intake manifold off because of the way the AC line was routed, but... On this older one, no need to do that. It's a much simpler process. So, 
that's it you don't need to see the installation like i said opposite of removal so i'll catch you boys in the next video thanks for watching peace